And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some out of the way Lulu. This is one I'm pretty excited about because I haven't found an out of the way deck that really works yet. Um, out of the way, of course, is the new KDA card that says for the rest of the game, all buffs except barrier are permanent and you draw a card. Because it just seems to be really expensive at five mana to not affect the board at all. And then, you know, just, you know, and so it doesn't put anything down, doesn't trade with any cards, does draw you one card, but then, um, you know, your buffs for, for later on um, are permanent. I haven't really seen it ever have any success, and so I'm, I'm hoping this works. This list was from a viewer that said that they had been trying it out and it had been working for them. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that it, it does pretty well for us. Um, basically, we have like Pale Cascade that will be permanent. We have Fuzzy Caretaker that will get permanent plus zero, plus three, and the plus three, plus zero, both of those. And then, of course, we have Lulu supporting uh, allies, growing them to, to be four fours, or if it's leveled up, five five. Um, we have Rush, which is permanent quick attack. Sonic Wave, permanent challenger, plus the, the plus two, plus zero there. Pix, that would be give the supported ally a permanent plus two, plus one, whenever Pix supports. Um, so all that would be permanent. And of course, like the Spirit's Refuge with the Lifesteal and Barrier also. Taric uh, gives Tough. The, the Tough would be permanent. Um, and then if, if we get to level up Taric, of course, it has that invulnerability that would be permanent. I guess it's not, yeah, because that's, that's a buff. That's not a keyword, right? So that, yep, so that would work. So that's what our deck's about. We're going to hopefully, and then of course the Young Witch with the quick attack and the plus one plus zero. So hopefully it works. Um, lots of spells. We got some Nopifies and Denies to help protect our things. River Shaper drawing spells for us. Um, and then it's just going to be a whole bunch of support. So let's go play five games. We're going to play them in Master's Rank, and we're going to see if we can have some success with Out of the Way. Here we go. Fiora Shen. Well, Fiora Shen is a deck that, um, that challenges a lot. And challengers can do a good job of killing these little things. So I don't love that. I think I want to keep the Hush. Maybe that'll keep them from challenging. Cool, we got Spirit's Refuge for some protection. Well, I'd rather that get killed than the Flower Child, probably. Fuzzy Caretaker matches up better. Um, matches up better against Fiora than what Flower Child does. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. Okay, I was going to see if they were going to, like, use a barrier, then they use a barrier, then I was going to use Hush. That was going to be nice. That's what I was hoping what would happen. Alright, let's draw a couple of cards. So that's just my first support there. That's number three. Okay. Um, so how am I keeping Tarek alive? Wow, they conceded? They just have nothing else in hand? No barriers? Nothing? Victory is a thing of beauty. 
Wow, we won. <laughs> what has happened? What happened? So my best guess of what happened was my opponent's hand was really bad and they were frustrated with it and just wanted to go to the next game. That would be my best guess. If we're not keeping picks here, we're probably just never keeping picks. So I guess I keep picks. Tom Kench, Soraka. I like the Sonic Wave. Maybe challenge a Soraka on turn three. Yeah, maybe something came up that they had to leave. So the problem, the problem with playing picks here is like your know, next turn, I kind of want to play Lulu and then have Pale Cascade available, or Lulu then you know then Sonic Wave available. No, let's just let's just play picks. Picks basically is Pale Cascade. And then they just pale. No, yeah, because they just pale cascade this thing. Hmm. Maybe I should have played the picks. That's bad, because of course that means um, they, that means they have Soraka. We shall weave our own destiny. So that's bad. Be at peace. Where are you off to? Live with purpose. Out of the way. Man, I want to play the out of the way, but I also think that this is like a, a turn where we got a sonic wave. I think I have to play out of the way on their turn. They're fast and great for tummy rumbles. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Okay. So you support. No, let's see. Okay, final answer. Alright, so I gotta use the Pill Cascade. But that should also just kill their Broadback Protector. Round start. Got rid of their challenger. Stand back. And you know now I can have barrier on Lulu. So that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully, you know, like if they play, yeah, they play box of so I have to I have to play help picks right away. That was the card that I wanted to see the least, of course. So, you know, I wanted to be able to play. The out of the way first. Um, so I guess it's gonna kill like my young witch, but. That's too bad. If they had any other cart, you know, if they would have played anything besides Box to Puss, we could have played this out of the way first and then played the barrier afterwards and got the permanent barrier. And I don't mind that, because, you know, this gets the acquired taste, and that will at least have my Nopifies do stuff. So I don't mind that as much, but this whole combo is going to be a little 
difficult. Oh, the barriers are not permanent? Oh, right, right, because it says accept barrier, doesn't it? On there. Appetizers of plenty. Okay, okay. Tarek's good. Each life a rare jewel. To be savored in perpetuity. Right, I forgot about that except barrier. Yeah, barrier would be broken if it was permanent. Five out of seven for Tarek. How delectable. So Lulu's gonna have tough permanently now. Oh no. That can be a lot of healing. Fair. We gotta finish this game pretty quick. Um. Water changes but never breaks. By starlight. Live with purpose. Take heart. Me. I just get so many cards with Soraka. So many cards. Okay. That's fine with me. Yes. So yes. So um, I can have I can have other things support first, and then level up Tarek after. You know, like as long as Tarek's not the first thing. Cause, yeah, because they they do they do all their effects left to right. So I can have like support and go like support support, and then that's seven for Tarek, and then Tarek levels up. So then Tarek gives the invulnerable. Um. Do I play Young Witch? I play Young Witch. They go acquire taste. I deny. We do have Young Witch has the um, elusive, and it gives something else quick attack. No, I think it makes sense to play Young Witch. Because I definitely assume they're going to be playing the Acquired Taste. And so then I'll have priority again. Okay, so we'll give you. Oh, let's see. Wait, actually, maybe we should give them vulnerable. Can we give? Can we give anything? Nine. Let's see. This gives plus three, so that's eight. Oh, I can't quite kill Tom Kench, can I? Oh man, it's so close to killing Tom Kench. Can't quite. Okay. Uh, let's see. Give me time to do this, please. To protect all. No! <sighs> Unyielding. There is nowhere left to go but up. I need, I need it like this, then Tarek, then... This is really difficult to figure out exactly how to do this. They just don't they don't give you very much time at all. Like that's that's a really, really difficult turn to manage exactly how you want everything to, to go. I needed like five more seconds. 
I need just to put put Tarek there, then the other thing there, and then challenge the the Soraka. I need like five seconds. But they they had Hush also. I don't I don't think I was gonna win that anyway. Even even with doing that correctly, I don't think I was winning that. Yeah. I think that the uh, the Soraka Tom catch. I think I do think that that game was probably over with the Hush there. But it was it was a good game. Um, it didn't quite handle it. So like, how do we ever beat Draven Ezreal <laughs> with these little things? I guess we mulligan them. I guess that's what we do. Okay, cool. Because yeah, I think I think we have to sit back and try to play out of the way first, and then play stuff for this matchup. Five mana with the River Shaper. Come on, no Mystic Shot. Let it happen. Because my, my alternative is just to, like, you know, either trade with a Chump Wump or just let them Mystic Shot that thing anyway. I, I don't have a good alternative. Off we go! Slow down! <laughs> you like frogs, huh? Oh, come on. Firing. I have every Mystic Shot. Oh, great hand. Whoa, you gotta focus. Beauty and life. Yeah, it was an Ezreal's Mystic Shot. I mean, it's still a Mystic Shot. Oh, it still counts as casting it? It still dealt four? Man, talk about a game that just couldn't go any worse. Time to return. Well, I couldn't I couldn't nopify the other thing. Because the other card cost four mana, so I couldn't nopify it. But it said, you know, it said three, and so I was gonna nopify the get excited, but it still went up to four. They played Ezreal, Draven, and I guess one other three mana card before that. What was their other three mana card? Oh, it just it starts with one damage. So yeah, so they'd only played Ezreal and Draven before. So I thought that Nopify was gonna was going to get rid of that. Yeah, I, I thought that, that was that's how that was gonna work. Counter a different spell and use it to protect your units. So it's it's a protection Nopify is a protection spell. Okay, so I think what, what Chat was saying is that the reason why that Nopify didn't work or like basically the re the, the reason why that interaction happened was because Get Excited discards a card, that means that you have to play it with the, the whole discard being the cost. And so that's why, even though I nopified it, they still, um, even though I nopified it, they still, um, you know, got the Tribune Progulator, got an additional cost there. Uh, this is a great nopify matchup. 
you really want to just counter go hard. Like that, it's kind of like the main reason to play Nopify right now is is go hard. Because if you if we get to counter go hard, then they don't get to put additional copies into their deck, and you know they just go away. So that's going to be our hope. I didn't keep Hush, did I? No, I no, I mulligan Tosh. Okay, good. Alright, so wait until I could have deny with the go hard. Trying to draw another Nova Fire deny, please. Ah, uh, that was really good for them. That was really good for them. Deal me in. Blue as the serpentine. Not even gold carding. So they only have two Gohards left in their deck. Nah, now they have three. Well, that went perfect for them. Last three games, things have gone really, really well for our opponents. It's been like, what's the worst thing they can have? They're going to have that. Over. And over. They just had <laughs> they just had three Gohards in their hand. Oh, and Twisted Fate. Okay, well, I can play a Pale Cascade to save it. Then I don't draw. I think I have to, because I think I, I need River Shaper to help draw spells. I don't change fate, but I can see it. play Tarek first, but I can't afford to play Tarek first. Okay, burn to go hard. So they have four total in their deck right now. Gift from the river folk. I'm out. If I kill you, I know fortune. Sound, yeah, I think that that sounds right. I think they have four total in deck. Be nothing left when I'm done. We play and build rules, son. I'm ready to shine. So you want to be a sunflower, eh? Like a fish in water. <laughs> That's probably one. Unfortunately, I didn't grab another Nopify. Attacking. Okay, just attacking with that. Um, so I, could, I could whimsy that block with the Taric. I guess I could also hush. <laughs> Can wake up. Yeah, I guess I could also hush. The mountain endures. Okay. 
let's see. So we're going to, because I want double Pale Cascade. So we're going to Blessing of Targon, you. To protect all. And then Pale Cascade, you. And that go across. This thing turned into a 4-4. Nobify. No. Nope. Alright, I'm hoping. Hoping to draw Nobify. Where you going? Vengeance the Lulu. Oh, good thing I have another Lulu. Okay, out of the way could be cool. Still not a Nopify, though. Alright, Nopify or Deny. Come on, deck. Yay! So I'm gonna play out of the way. Ooh, two pack your bags gone? So I think they're back to having four total. I think they've cast three, is that right? Alright, lifesteal is permanent. The barrier is not, but the lifesteal is permanent. Okay, I don't have to worry about... Unpack your bags this turn. So I don't need to worry about holding up Nobify. Okay. So, we are going to... Lifesteal Barrier, this. So that's going to be six. We need something else to support Taric. Um, I guess I'm going to go Barrier on Lulu. I am the protector of the mountain. Have Lulu support. I guess I don't have to have anything support Taric now. So I guess I can go with... Or ally plus three plus zero. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's have you support you, support you, support you. Yeah, let's do it like this. Alright, so now both both Tarek and River Shaper can't take damage or die the entire game. And they both have lifesteal. So that's pretty awesome. That's gonna keep my life total high against pack your bags. And then the River Shaper drawing spells. Why did it not draw a spell? Did it bug out? Okay, there we go. I was like, what happened? This is actually is going to be... This can actually work. We could act... Oh, no. I was I was about to say, I was like, the, now the best thing my opponent can do is level up Twisted Fate. I was about to say that. No. That's the best they can, thing they can kind of do right now. Because the, the whole go wide plan doesn't really work against life steal can't take damage or die. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Oh, a pack your bags got burned. They didn't. They didn't cast it. Cause I had the, I had the barrier on the Lulu. So I think they have three left in their deck. <gasps> Another pack your bags got burned and a vengeance. Especially that vengeance is a great burn. I'll protect Lulu. I think they only have two pack your bags left. I think. 
<laughs> I mean, hey, I'm not gonna argue with you there. See, see, uh, it said your your deck's a bit crap, but the combo is super sweet. I agree. Not gonna argue with that at all. That levels up twist, or that basically levels up twist. If they do, I counter that. Maybe I'm supposed to counter that. I guess pack your, because pack your bags isn't. Hmm. I guess no. They can have a leveled up twisted fate, right? Because because I challenge twisted fate next turn, and I kill it. Like, what are they really gonna do with the leveled up twisted fate? Three cards left in their deck. I guess they could have two pack. I guess maybe I shouldn't play the picks here because they could have two packer bags. Okay, not casting packer bags. All right, so twisted face leveled up. Now this game's heating up. Okay, let's see. I think I want to give... Let's have... This is not going to be easy. <laughs> Alright, let's give you Challenger. I want you to give you Challenger. And then... You can turn you into a 5-5 who supports you, who supports you. Which I guess that means that this should be going over here. And let's give you that. Oh, I guess the, chal the challenger doesn't copy over until afterwards. That's fine. Okay. Um, here, barrier you. And attack. Never submit. Next turn, I guess, River Shaper will have Challenger also. Because these things can't take damage or die. So I was going to give them Challenger. But of course, I, I could have supported something else to make it can't take damage or die. But I like them both having Challenger. Um... All right, let's get another spell. Hopefully deny or notify. Always on the run. I guess I'm out of notifies. I think I have one more deny in the deck. No, I, I'm not out of no prize. Okay. Now, where was I? Oh, you were being annoying. That's where you were. They only have one card left. They have to have pack your bags resolved this turn. Otherwise, they're dead. That just kills them. That just literally kills them. Soak it in. So they they choose death. Maybe they didn't have that many. Maybe they just didn't have the pack of bags left. Because they they are drawing cards. When you don't have any cards left, and you are and you have to draw cards, you lose the game. And they didn't have any cards left. And Glimpse Beyond says draw cards, so they lose the game. That was pretty awesome. I want to like go back and like count like the different pack of bags and see how many did they actually have left. How many did they have like in their hand slash 
the last card. Maybe it was just one. Maybe just like their last card was their last pack your bags, but maybe they didn't have any. They bu they burned the one from the pool shark. That's that's maybe where I saw the other one. So yeah, they burned the one from the pool shark. So maybe they only had one left. They either had one or two left. So do I let them just kill? Turns that into a permanent 5-2. Do I just let them kill picks? Probably not. Okay, I like that card. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. I will be heard. Well, this is great. I said sarcastically. Oh. It's kind of the problem with these little things. They're not good against challengers, that's for sure. Not good against challengers. River shape the land and give it life. Enemies, allies, you're full of surprises. Ever at odds, but never apart. What form will the waters take? Plus two, plus one. I don't mind an out of the way. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. It's kind of sad that I just don't have a good attack. my people as long as I draw breath. Glow, me Lulu! Glow, this is Glow! Hi, Glow! I like your paddles. So, now what? Targon's history is in each stone and star. That thing is 16. Go down. So five, three, three, two, four, seven, three, four. Gamma, again the redeem in the VIP. Face my shield. All right, let me write you down on our VIP list. And I can type this in. So VIP XXB Gamma XX. All right, hopefully that works. The guilty were bad. Don't make me formidify you. Moonlight guide me. Okay, so they have Pill Cascade there.
Yeah, uh, what does the VIP do? Just, yeah, just kind of makes you cool. You get a, a cool, so Gamma, say something. You get a, a really cool badge that shows you're a VIP. Um, it's just something cool to use the channel points on. So there we go. <laughs> of course not. So yeah, you get that, that cool diamond for the VIP badge. Our street is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Beauty and life. Bask in her radiant blessing. Look sharp. Hmm. You're in over your head. You're so hungry. Sweep them away. infinite cards over there with all these invoke cards a gift from the river folk <sighs> yeah they just they just get infinite cards uh, Targon invoke decks are difficult to beat This game, we found all of our Nobifies and Denies that we wanted against the Gohard deck. Okay, that's a good draw. I'm not really sure what Nobify is going to do. Like, maybe they have single combat. I, of course, want one more unit so I can, you know, have, like, support, support, and then something else. But, I, so I know I could have tried to save um, River Shaper with the Spirit's Refuge, but then I wouldn't have Deny available for what I kind of assume they have more of, like, the Exile unit kind of card. Yeah, more of like that kind of card. Four and a one. Mm, can't make the lifesteal permanent. I'm 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 really worried about the the just the invoke cards that exile. I just, I think they have something like that. So that's why I want to keep Tanai for that kind of thing, card. Escape punishment. Punishment. Devotion to battle. Yep, they had it. They can have more. I can't stop any more, but at least I could stop that one. Gonna level up Tarek. I am the protector of the mountain. So now these can't take damage or die. I would have loved to have the life the life steal on these things permanently. Never submit. But again, I feel like I have to do this before. No mercy for heretics. Glorious. 
before they you know have other exile or you know, whatever that kind of removal and obviously they can hush these things at any time this is just a really tough matchup they just kind of they have all sorts of great stuff against me and they have infinite guards but we're gonna try Nopify, please do something. Just give them single combats. <laughs> like, just hopefully they have single combat after, si which I don't even know. Like, single combat only kills the young witch right now. But it chases the trickster. I just want, <laughs> I just want Nopify to do something. Do you like magic? All right, down to one. I guess I should be switching up the one I'm blocking with that and that. Down to one still. Damage. Okay, down to one still. Come on, lifesteal barrier. All right, we have to turn on Nightfall. I get to the picks, can't take damage or die now. Definitely helping for the, you know, life steal barrier course. All they gotta do is find anything that um, obliterates, and I lose. No, I had I had to buff the picks with the with the with the Tarek, so it, it had the can't take damage or die. Water changes, but never breaks. Why don't you have elusive? Why is this card not elusive? Don't you think this should be like a 0-2 elusive? Certainly looks like an elusive thing. Certainly looks elusive. Failure is my greatest mentor. Alright, so our deck did okay. Um Yeah, I mean our, our deck did okay. We uh that, that last matchup, I think, is going to be really, really difficult to, for us to win, because they even have Hush and everything. But, you know, we had, like, the, the Tom Kench Soraka one, that that one was really close. I ran out of time. Um, but they, again, had Hush, and so they were probably going to be able to defeat us. I think, you know, like, those Hush decks are kind of difficult. And um, I have to say, I was impressed by Out of the Way, though. I was definitely impressed by this card. It was better than I expected it. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Um, and, uh, and yeah, then like the, the lifesteal barrier with that card is really cool. Getting like the permanent lifesteal, uh, Tarek, you know, we leveled up Tarek a lot faster than I thought. And just like looking at this deck list, I was really worried that we wouldn't have individual cards to target Tarek with, you know, just doing the, the target one thing and then copy it over. But we basically always had refuge or pale cascade 
to go along with it. Then there was also a couple of Rush and a couple of Sonic Waves. Um, so yeah, I was I was actually pretty impressed with how a lot of these cards uh, worked out. I I don't know if like picks is good enough, but you do need a cheap card. So you know, like you do need cheap things. Um, but picks didn't really seem that great. I don't know if like if you just replace picks with the five mana Mountain Sojourners. I don't know if that makes the deck better. You know, and everything. Deny was awesome. Nopify, great against Go Hard. Perfect against Go Hard. But as we saw, other, there's other matchups where Nopify just doesn't do anything. And we saw that with that last matchup. Um, but yeah, I was, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised with Fuzzy Caretaker. That card did good. Did better than expected. There we go. So that's out of the way, Lulu. Uh, impressed. I was impressed with it. You know, wasn't wasn't perfect, but you know, about as good of out of way as I have seen so far. Uh, so yeah, that was good. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would always appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.